I purchased it. Starbucks is in the same parking lot. I think I went there and then I returned it after that. So you returned that gas can the same day? Yes, right after Starbucks. I think they just handed me cash or something. I might have, a, I might have gotten a receipt. I don't remember. I got two, the two gas, gas cans that I took on that trip I got from Daryl. And then I bought the third one and then I didn't, I determined I didn't need it and I returned it. I had a third can when I originally purchased one in Salinas. I returned it before leaving Salinas. First, I didn't have three gas I cans. I didn't have three gas cans. Um, I believe we were discussing a hypothetical if I had three gas cans. I only had two anyway. So there were never three on that trip. I only had two gas cans with me. Ma'am, one of the things that you told us was that um, you're going to tell the truth, the whole truth throughout this proceeding. Do you remember that when you took the oath? Yes, to the best of my recollection. Uh, am I asking you to the best of your recollection that you took the oath, ma'am? Objection, argumentative judge. Sustained. Ma'am, do you remember standing in front of the clerk to Judge Stevens' left and being sworn in? Do you remember that? Yes. And do you remember being asked, will you tell the truth, the whole truth? Do you remember being told that? Yes. And you swore that you would, right? Yes. So why is it then, are you, why is it then, ma'am, that you showed up with three gas cans in Salt Lake City? To answer the gas can question, I went to Mesa with two gas cans. Ma'am, if you take this amount per gallon, 3859, 3.859, $3.859 3 .859 per gallon, and you divide it into this amount of 1965, do you know how much, how, what, what, what that division would indicate? No. Would it be, surprise you that it would indicate that it's 5.09? Would that surprise you? Um, no. So, you make three purchases here, don't you? Yes. There are two purchases for sure that we know that are for gas, right? That's correct. The other one is for 1965, right? Yes. If we do the mathematics, that equals five gallons of gas. If you, if you were putting gas. Objection, argumentative, is, uh, there's no testimony that it was gas purchased. Would it surprise you to find that on that, per and you said that you got a refund in cash, didn't you? Yes, I did. Would it surprise you that Walmart does not have any record of any refund for a gas can on that date of June 3rd of 2008? Considering that I returned it, that would surprise me. My name is Amanda Webb. I work for Walmart. And which Walmart do you work for? I work for the um, store in Salinas, 2458. It's on North Main Street. And are you also familiar with the procedure or the process uh, involved in a return of merchandise from Walmart? Yes. Do you recognize this as a Walmart receipt? I do. And is this a receipt that was issued by the store that you're currently working at? It is, yes. And if we look down here, for example, this 5G, which is, let's assume, 5 gallon, there's a bunch of numbers here. Are, is that the SKU number that we're talking about? That is the SKU number, yes. Once they match those up, they'll um, have some sort of documentation on that paper on the receipt, the original receipt that the customer actually retains after. Um, generally, they cross out the item that they have um, been returning or circle it, and they always put it like an in initial next to that. And looking at this exhibit that we're talking about, exhibit 237.008, based on this particular process that you're talking about, since nothing's crossed out, circled, or there's no initials, was anything refunded involving this? I would say no. All right. Um, there is human error, but I would say no. So then what happens? At that point, they will um, process it through the computer system, and the customer will get their money. They have to sign a, another sheet of paper with their signature on it, and they'll get their original receipt back with the documentation that item's been returned. And we do that so that they can't go with the same item to another store and return it again. Did you check each and every single cash register, including the ones that don't normally give refunds, to, to, to see what refunds were given on that particular day? Yes. Was that returned? at this terminal number three? No. How about this one, number four at the top? Were there any returns there? There was not. Number five, was anything returned there? No, there was nothing returned on that. Register 76? No. Register 77, any returns on that one? No. So after your review of all of the registers, after your review of whatever computer's work may have been done there, 
and after a review of exhibit 237.008, was this five gallon can that we now know is a can of gas, was it ever returned for a refund on June 3rd of 2008? It was not, and I actually researched that SKU number specifically for about a week. And even during that week and a half from June 3rd to when you found this item being purchased, did you ever find any indication whatsoever in the records that this item had ever been refunded ever at the Selena store? Not in the time frame I searched it. No, it had not been refunded. I don't have any other questions. Press examination. Your name, please? Chelsea Young. And who do you work for? Tesoro. What do you do for them? The record keeping, accounting data, credit card data, every, every kind of sale that happens inside and outside the store. We have records of every transaction inside and outside at every station. What is the date that this says that this transaction was approved? June 6, 2008. And the individual whose card was involved? Jody Arias. And the last four digits of the card she used was what? 2015. If we then compare it to this 237.016, do we see a cashier here or not? No, this is because it uh, has the driver ID that indicates that it was done out at the pump. And they're both for gasoline, correct? Correct. Ma'am, did you also have a chance to, to see whether or not there was a third transaction that was involved with this Tesoro? Yes, we did find a third transaction. Was it the same credit card that was being used here, the one that ended at 2015? It was the same credit card. And how much gas was purchased? It's five gallons. And what was the amount? 1965. So in this case, how many transactions for gas was there? Three. And there was initially, how many gallons of gas were purchased? Uh, 10 gallons, 10.672 gallons. 672. And then the next one was five gallons, correct? Correct. Or approximately, and then the last one under 237.017 was how many gallons? 9.583. I don't have any other questions. Thank you. Cross examination. So, if someone wanted to buy, uh, make a cash transaction, the transaction wouldn't contain their name, credit card number, and the time they did it, would it? No, it would not. Thank you, ma'am. Redirect. But in this case, ma'am, the, the transaction that took place inside the store as set out in Exhibit 237.017, was that cash or was that credit? This was credit. And was it, for, was it for items such as potato chips or other items like that, or was it for gas? It was for gas. And how much gas was purchased by Jody Arias on June 6 of 2008 at 405 inside of this store? What is the purchase amount here? Objection beyond the scope of cross. Approach, please. And what's the amount that was paid on this credit transaction? 3698. I don't have any other questions. 